Now in this problem we are being asked to find the direction of friction on front and back wheel of the cycle. The cycle runs on a horizontal road by pedaling. Now in this question if we see as a whole the cycle runs towards right, right? If we rotate this pedals clockwise then as a whole the object moves towards right and if we apply our normal rule that the object moves towards right through relative motion of the object with respect to the other surface is towards right and hence friction should be towards left. Now this is not exactly true in this case. So how to find and why does this not happen here? Imagine let's say this back previous surface this back surface is frictionless let's assume. So if in that case we do pedal the surface so on pedaling the chain of the cycle it is connected to the rear wheel right the back wheel so if we do pedals apply the pedals here the back wheel rotates clockwise so if there were no friction here our back wheel would have rotated normally clockwise now if it rotates clockwise in that case at the bottom most point the direction of velocity will be this way at this point it will be this way at the topmost point this way and here it will be this way so at each point the direction of velocity is different right but we need the point where the contact occurs between the two surfaces and this is the point where contact occurs between the two surfaces. that means if we zoom in we can see that if this moves towards left in that case the relative velocity of this point with respect to ground is backwards so if v relative is backward we write v relative is backward that means friction at this point should be forward because friction opposes relative motion right that means because of pedaling only the rear wheel rotates not the front wheel the chains are not connected to the front wheel it, they are connected to the rear wheel now rear wheel rotates hence for the lower most point the relative velocity with respect to ground is backward so friction acts forward so what happens for the front wheel for the front wheel there is no chain connected they are connected by rods so this rod basically gives a push force this push force or horizontal component makes it move imagine if there were no friction here imagine the, a condition hypothetically a condition we will imagine that there is fric friction available here means on the back wheel on the rear wheel there will be friction but on the front wheel here there is no friction let's imagine so in that case if there is no friction on this surface there will only be a push force from the rods this push force has a horizontal component and this horizontal component will make this wheel slide over the surface so if there were no friction over here then the push force would have made the wheel slide so in that case the bottom most point the point of contact would have slid forward so in that case the friction would have opposed that so friction on the rear front wheel will be backward so this will be the direction of friction on both the wheels in case of a cycle when running on a horizontal road.